They've got more than 20 wins in five different classes, and now they have a championship in Supercomp with Nick Folk. First of all, congrats to all the champions. I know what a long road it has been to be up here on this stage. I'm sure most of you are like me and over the stress of the whole situation. I'm not sure what I wanted to end more last week, the Lucas Oil Points battle or the presidential TV commercials. I mean, they were both horrible. I didn't know which one I wanted to end worse. We all could have made it really easy and voted Jeff Strickland for president. I mean, the guy can't do any wrong. Two championships in one year. What an amazing feat. Congratulations to the whole family. You're more like a brother to me, man. Awesome work. Good job. Um, at the rate that you get these things, like two at one time, and I'm 36 now, I think that I'll be like 72 when I catch up to you with getting one in 36 years. But obviously after this year, for those of you that are close to me, nobody would trust my math. And for real, this is how it went down. My family and I go to our last national event in Reading, Pennsylvania. We should have taken the jet skis and pontoon boats instead of the race cars. I mean, horrible race. Rain, rain, rain. I honestly didn't think it could rain as much as it was until I looked out the motorhome window and I saw Jason Lynch paddling down the return road in a kayak that he just went and bought for that special situation. <laughs> I mean, it rained and rained and rained and rained. But the monsoon finally quits and I attempted to race. I proceed to score another impressive first round loss. As he talked uh, in the introduction, I went a little cold there for a while. And uh, the months of August, September were not very good. So we lose first round, we load up, get out of there, drive nonstop home with less than a positive attitude. The whole way home, at least it's only 965 miles, so it made it even better. We all know how much fun those rides are, like you wanna run every car that passes you off the road into the ditch. And I mean, I wouldn't flip everybody off, but you know, you wanted to, and it's just one of those rides home, it wasn't good. So I decided to take a look at the points when we get home, and here's where the whole trusting my math skills story stems from. I figure it up, and nope, I can't win. Good job, Nick. You messed it up. August to September, no good. And I'm done. I can't win it. Move on with the situation. I walk out and I tell my family. Every one of them trust me. They never do that, so I kind of think this is their fault for doing that. This whole, this whole thing is their fault. A couple weeks go by and we decide to go to the last points race of the year and I secure to try to just make sure I win the divisional championship, hopefully stay in second, hopefully maybe get to second in super stock, like 300 points behind Jimmy DeFrank, but I was still going to try to get second. It was worth going to the race. First night we head down to the local establishment after we get to Reynolds to have a cup of coffee and, and it was a present surprise when they served Mexican food and margaritas, but... Anyhow, my buddies Ray and Joe start talking about how I can still win the championship. And I'm like, whatever, I did the math. I'm not listening to you guys. This is all true, by the way. I'm not making this up. Fast forward Sunday afternoon, I'm getting ready to go up for the semifinals. And my boy Krusty comes up to me, and he's got like these super trooper cop glasses on. And he like whispers under his voice, he's like, Nick, you can still win the championship if you win the race. I'm like, man, no, get over this. We're, it's all done. I can't any. He starts yelling at me, screaming at me. No, you can win the race. Jason, Mia, Krusty come over. Strick comes over. They're all holding me down, slapping me around a little bit. I'm like, they show me the math. They're like, no, if you win this race, you win the championship. Finally, they listen to me. I look at it, and yes, I tell them all I can win it. I know. That's what I've been telling you. So <laughs> I don't, they just wouldn't listen to me. We end up winning the race, my team ends up winning the race, and here we are up higher on this stage, and what a long journey it's been. So, obviously I couldn't be up here without the help of some great companies and family. Uh, who's your tires? Champions, how do champions? Jeff, you gotta raise your hand two times, I know that. Who's your tires? What an amazing deal. Um, we put those on back when they first come out, and we have never taken them off. Don't foresee it any time in the near future. Aeromotive fuel systems, Bob helped me out with some stuff at the start of the year, and I got great news. Steve Matusik, the owner of Aeromotive, does not know this, but I'm going to drive his ProMod car next year. Um, Mark Erickson at Autometer, thank you for all the help with the data logging. It's horrible that you're from Illinois and you're a Green Bay Packers fan. I still can't get over that. Um, everyone at BP Fuels for fueling another championship for us. Um, we've never had one on this side of the pond, but IHRA, we got a couple of them. 
they were always behind us the whole way. The entire staff at KN, not only do they help in the sportsman ranks for contingency, help our race team on a personal level, they put they put money back into the sport at the bracket racing level. A lot of us, a lot of us racers here still bracket race, and that's great to have them there. Um, Greg and Troy at FTI, you only get one shot, you only get one opportunity to put the right converter in, do it. Marvin at Quick Fuel, um, I'm lost in where I'm at. Scott Hall at Moroso, all the guys at American Race Cars, even Mark. Troy Hooker at Elderbrock Performance, Joe and Kyle at APD, I can't wait for the next chapter. Eric with Penske Scott, Shocks, Crew Chiefs, Farmer and Jason, Charlie Hammond at Digital Delay, big electronics company on all of our, uh, our throttle stop cars finally listened to me and made the delay box so you can go to the thousandths of a second in the timer. A lot of you won't understand this, but it's a big deal for us sportsman racers. And as good as my car was this year, I needed that thousandths digit to dial the car to the eight number precisely. So I got to thank him for that. Everyone at Mosier Engineering for all their great products. Anybody want to stop, they need to try out their new brakes. Vic Ellinger, thank you for getting our stuff some squeeze back in it. We went through a bad deal where people thought that it was good to have 13 to 1 compression and a big headed motor. That didn't work out very good. Vic helped us out, helped us get back up to 15 to 16 to 1. Charlie McCormick for building the best transmission I could ask for. Thank you. And then last but not least for the sponsor list, obviously Lucas Oil. Where does anybody in this building start with saying thanks to this family and company tonight? Not only do they support the entire series, they are continued supporters of our race team. Thank you to Lucas Oil, Don Crescent, Tom Bogner, and the entire staff there. And last but not least, my family. My brother Brian there is one of the best teammates a guy could ask for. It feels fair to have him helping me out when all you guys don't have him. And I appreciate that. I thank you very much. Thanks for finishing this deal out with me. I know Reading wasn't the greatest drive for you, but uh, hopefully the next time we race, your car won't break a roller and we can actually go head-to-head -head with it. Um, also to his family supporting us with all the time away from home, Jill, Aaron, Evan, thank you for making this trip to Hollywood with us. Mom and Dad, what can I say? They do for me in life that any child could ask for. Mom, thanks for always being there for me. She keeps us up when we could be down and keeps us level-headed when we could be flying too high. Without a doubt, she's been around this stuff for a very long time, and I thank her. Dad, bottom line, this championship is yours. You do everything. You maintain these cars. You make them the best we could ask for. I've never met anyone that puts more into everything than you do. I strive to be more like you every day. Thanks for providing us with the best racing operation possible and being the best parents ever. I love you and I thank you guys. Amy, my immediate family, thank you for keeping the troops in line when I'm gone. I know it can be hard at times and you do an amazing job for the load I constantly put on your shoulders with being gone. You take good and bad with the best attitude possible. I don't know how you always do do it and make, uh, make it good when I get home. I thank you for that. So my two kids, you're doing a great job in life. I love watching and helping you grow up. Just remember, you got to do what I say and not as I do. Thank you, and everyone have a great night, but we got to remember one thing. If you want a drink, don't try to beat Jason Lynch to the bar because he's going to be the first one there. He likes doing that. Thank you.